do you think you're doing, male chauvinist pig? I'm holding the door open. You're not just holding the door open. I'm not? What you're doing is reminding me of 50 centuries of male domination and oppression. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, miss. Miss? I'm sorry, Ms. Ms. I'm, Ms. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to be a gentleman. Try being a person. I'm being a person. I'm a person that's holding a door open for a lady. Uh, who did you call a lady? You. I am a person. I am sorry. Uh, I'm holding a door open for a person. And a person holding a door open for a person is perfectly all right. Perfectly. All right, person, after you. What are you doing? I'm being a gentleman. Go ahead in. You don't think that I can walk through that door while you're holding the door open? That's exactly what I think. <laughs> See you around. <laughs> can't do it. But you expect women to be able to do it, don't you? Well, why couldn't I do it? Because you are the victim of a male-dominated society trapped on the traditional tottering topsy-turvy treadmill of machismo mythology. <laughs> Who said that? I did, just now. Well, how come I can walk through a door when a man is holding it open? Because men don't threaten you, but women do. No. You're afraid of me, No, aren't I'm you? not. No. All right, then let's see you walk through this door. You got it. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. Men, 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 men. You don't understand. It's against everything I was ever taught. My mother always taught me to walk on the outside when I'm with a lady, uh, a woman, a female person. She always taught me to take my head off when I'm in an elevator with them. And she always told me to, to hold doors open for them. Did your mother also tell you that women should get equal pay for equal work? She was too busy scrubbing and cleaning and raising children. She was too tired. She was too busy. She was a very tired lady. Mm, well, those she... days are over. Why? Woman is out of the kitchen. There's a new woman abroad in the land, and she will resist to the death the tyranny of open doors. And how about a kiss, honey? I am that woman. I am not a sex object. <laughs> That's true. Is it all right if I just hold the door open for myself and walk through? Go ahead. Thank you very much. Thank you, Auntie. Oh. oh. What do you think you're doing? Uh, 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 reminding you of 50 centuries of oppression. Right. Yeah, but you see... You touch that purse and it's the last thing you will ever touch. You're crazy, lady. What? I'm sorry, you're a crazy person. That's better. Look, uh, as long as I'm down here and I'm not doing anything anyway, why don't I just pick it up as a person? <laughs> Now I'm going in, with no help from you. I am woman. I know, I heard your roar. Uh, who are you, uh, who are you seeing in there anyway? J.W. Perkins, the employment agency sent me over about a job in customer relations. Oh, uh, well, he isn't in. How would you know, sexist? Because I'm J.W. Perkins. <laughs> Does this mean I don't get the job? Well, would you want to work for a sexist pig like me? Would you pay me the same salary you'd pay a man? Yes. Then I'm willing to work for you. What's the job? Well, uh, we uh, sell men's apparel here, and we've been having a lot of complaints lately. It would be your job to deal with the men who come in and complain. You'd be ideal. <laughs> I'll take it. OK. <laughs> I've got it. Age before beauty. <laughs> <laughs>